All right, they say home is where your heart is. If that's the case, well then welcome to my home because there's no place I'm more comfortable than on a football field with a ball in my hands. And this is also the home of on-field ABCs where we're talking all things quarterback technique, we're talking about arm, body, core, not necessarily in that order, but if you know me, you know that I'm a stickler when it comes to technique. I believe that your mechanics can separate you no matter how talented you are, it can separate you with efficiency, and accuracy. So we're gonna be talking about all things mechanics here on on-field ABCs. Now, one thing I wanna say before we get started is that I don't ever want you to just take what I say as gospel. I want you to challenge everything, challenge all the teaching, challenge the why behind what I say, and come to your own conclusions on what works for you. Obviously, I believe in the techniques that, that I preach. I believe in the why behind what I do, but I never want anybody to just take it and go, oh, well, Kurt Warner said this. I want you to challenge what I say and make sure that it makes sense to you. So the first four weeks of ABCs is gonna be about building a throwing foundation. We're gonna go back to the basics of a throwing technique. So it's gonna be all about the details. I'm a firm believer that details separate you when it comes to your throwing mechanics, all right? So if you get bored with the details, Probably not gonna enjoy this segment, but I also believe it's gonna be hard for you to be a great coach or a great quarterback if you don't have attention to details. All right, so everything starts with the positioning of our feet, right? We throw from ground up. I know we talk a lot about throwing and everybody thinks about arm, 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 but I believe you throw from the ground up. It starts with your feet, all right? So what's the position that we want our feet in? Ever since I started playing sports way back when I was seven, eight years old, I remember the first thing that a coach always told me was, all right, first day of practice, get into an athletic position, all right? I'm sure we've all heard that before. What's an athletic position? Well, it's a position that you feel like you're most explosive in. And so in most sports, it's balanced between your feet. So you have the ability to go both directions. We don't want our feet too wide. We don't want them too tight where it creates too much movement. We want to find a balance point. For me, I believe it's just outside the shoulders. All right, so we get too tight. We don't have the ability to be explosive. There's no movement here where I can generate power. I get too wide, right, and I get too balanced, and once again, I can't generate the power and the explosiveness that I want. So we gotta find that sweet spot. So you gotta mess around with that a little bit to figure out what that sweet spot is for you. All right, in most sports, right, you're gonna be going both directions. That's why the weight is evenly distributed between your feet, right? Because I gotta be able to go left, I gotta be able to go right. The beautiful thing when you're playing quarterback is you don't have to go both directions. Now I know we're gonna drop back and we're gonna go off of our left foot, but what I mean is once we get into a throwing position, all our movement is going to be going one direction, always gonna be going forward. 